Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> you say you, they should not they should not accept which words? For them it's a sweet name, but no further comments. <laughs> but I think what she was talking about here is very, very, very pregnant. And just because of this, I wanted to, this is what I can summarize. <coughs> I think it is because of that. Drink from your own well. Drink. question then is, in human beings life, who am I? This is a question which people should ask, who am I? This is a question which has never been answered by anyone. How many people know the answer to this? Most of the time when you are asked, who am I, you begin, my name is James and Ayaga. I come from, you add, for those, nobody asks you, but you say, James and Wayaga, I come from Kenya, I'm a Luo by tribe, I'm a student. So superficial answers you give. And then you think you've answered that question. No. Who are you? This is a lifelong question. People who are 85 have not been able to answer this question. Where were you now? Wait, no. Don't give me those superficial answers. I think that's what she was talking about. Discover who you are. How many people here know Messi? Messi, the soccer player. Ronaldo. Rooney. Drogba. All of you know these people, right? Yes. How many of you think here Ronaldo know about you? <laughs> huh? You know so much about someone who doesn't care who you are. Doesn't care. But you can sit and watch him for two hours trying to move a small round thing between two posts and that metal bottle. You don't know who you are. The people who know who they are sit down and look at themselves. They watch themselves. People make comments about Messi, about Ronaldo, about Beyonce, my favorite. About uh, who's that Mexican singer? Hips don't lie. <laughs> who is that? Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> oh, my favorite is uh, singer. I like her because she sings and she knows how to sing. So, but you see, people know. My point is this. You need to know yourself. If you are living here and you have forgotten everything that you have learned here, just remember one thing. The life assignment which will not be marked by anyone except you, is this question. Who are you? Who am I? And for you to answer that question, I am suggesting the answer is drink from your own. You have everything. You have passions. You have talents. 
you have skills, you have knowledge, you have dreams inside you. They are not with Ronaldo, they are with you. Bring them out. Use them to know yourself. So this whole exercise you are doing here is to know who you are. Most people make mistakes in life because they don't know who they are. But if you know, Budil, if you know who you are, 90% of your problems are solved. 90%. Because nobody will come and tell you, ah, you know, without you, you are like my little onion, and you know, I can't breathe. <laughs> you make everybody cry. <laughs> no, you say that is bullshit. Keep it for yourself. Weren't you beautiful before I said it? Were you not beautiful? Or it is my words which makes you beautiful. Is it true? No. You are born beautiful, right? No. Any other word from outside? It's passing cloud. Passing cloud. Passing wind. As it has come. Look at it as it goes. You are beautiful. And say, what part of me is beautiful? You what? Have you ever asked a man when he says you are beautiful? What do you mean? Girls, have you tried to ask? They will either refer to your neck, <laughs> you have a long neck, or you have a... <clears throat> and many other things which I'm not going to mention here. You know them, right? The youth, Nini, Nini, you are the leaders of tomorrow. And because we expect so much from you, you have a huge responsibility, my brothers and sisters. Huge, gigantic, Mount Kilimanjaro type of responsibility. <laughs> to change your life, number one. To change the life of your family, number two. To change your village, number three. To change your district, number four. To change your country and change the whole world. Do you think you can do that if you don't know who you are? You need to know who you are. And don't mess up with your life. This life is so precious. Don't mess up with it. Don't allow anyone to mess up with it. Anybody who wants to destroy your life, say no and tell that person no. No, 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 no. What part of no do you understand? No. Simply say no. 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 Say no. No. Don't, don't allow people to mess up with your life. It is not okay. Tell them to their face, let them hate you. Tell them, no. no. The first time I wrote a letter to my girlfriend was 1992. I was in form two. How many people in form two here? Form two? No, form two. No. <laughs> February the 14th. What happens on February the 14th? Valentine's So I took an A4 size of a paper, like this, and I wrote here, I, I looked at the Oxford Dictionary, I wanted to have verb of diarrhea. You know? I wanted to diarrhea new words from the Oxford Dictionary. So I wrote, it took me two hours to write that letter. I wrote everything so nicely, and I folded it. And I gave it to the, the girl in home too. And there came a reply. Got the letter and my heart was pumping. <sighs> so I opened the letter and did you see what she wrote? I thought it was going to be a full page. She wrote. This is a four size paper. And she wrote. That's what she wrote. Oh no. I'll never forget.
poate da Someone told me this in a seminar at St. Peter Kaleva. I'm telling you today, take your life serious, know who you are, and life will be okay. Thank you so much.